In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Very good afternoon to all of you. Good afternoon, Father. As we gather to celebrate this Eucharist and prepare ourselves for the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to and you, you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, and sisters that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians, the grace to reject what is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Hezekiah fell ill and was at the point of death. The prophet Isaiah, son of Amos, came and said to him, The Lord says this, Put your affairs in order, for you are going to die. You will not live. Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and addressed this prayer to the Lord. Ah, Lord, remember, I beg you, how I have behaved faithfully and with sincerity of heart in your presence and done what is right in your eyes. And Hezekiah shed many tears. Then the word of the Lord came to Isaiah. Go and say to Hezekiah, The Lord, the God of David, your ancestor, says this, I have heard your prayer and seen your tears. I will cure you. In three days' time, you shall go up to the temple of the Lord. I will add 15 years to your life. I will save you from the hands of the king of Assyria. I will protect this city. Bring a thick poultice, Isaiah said. Apply it to the ulcer and he will recover. Hezekiah said, What is the sign to tell me that I shall be going up to the temple of the Lord? Here, Isaiah replied, is the sign from the Lord that he will do what he has said. Look, I shall make the shadow cast by the declining sun go back ten steps on the steps of Ahas. And the sun went back the ten steps by which it had declined. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You have held back my life, O Lord, from the pit of doom. You have held back my life, O Lord, from the pit of doom. I said, so I must go away, my life half spent, assigned to the world below for the rest of my years. 
You have held back my life, O Lord, from the pit of doom. I said, No more shall I see the Lord in the land of the living. No more shall I look upon men within this world. You have held back my life, O Lord, from the pit of doom. My home is pulled and removed like a shepherd's tent. Like a weaver, you have rolled up my life. You cut it from the loom. You have held back my life, O Lord, from the pit of doom. For you, Lord, my heart will live. You gave me back my spirit. You cured me, kept me alive, changed my sickness into health. You have held back my life, O Lord, from the pit of doom. Please stand. Together. Alleluia, alleluia. Instruct me, Lord, in your way. On an even path, lead me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord. Jesus took a walk one Sabbath day through the cornfields. His disciples were hungry and began to pick ears of corn and eat them. The Pharisees noticed it and said to him, Look, your disciples are doing something that is forbidden on the Sabbath. But he said to them, Have you not read what David did when he and his followers were hungry? How he went into the house of God and how they ate the loaves of offering, which neither he nor his followers were allowed to eat, but which for the priest alone. Or again, have you not read in the law that on the Sabbath day, the temple priest break the Sabbath without being blamed for it. Now here, I tell you, is something greater than the temple. And if you had understood the meaning of the words, what I want is mercy, not sacrifice, you would have not condemned the blameless. For the Son of Man is master of the Sabbath. And this, my dear friends, is the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So all, all throughout these past few weeks, I've even been having uh, this kind of readings, especially even in the Psalms, uh, about life that is very down and out. And even here, you have held my, my, back, my life back, O Lord, from the pit of doom. So in a sense, even in the Gospel, uh, we talk about the Pharisees and the scribes, but then that great word that comes throughout the gospel in today's text is, here there is something greater than the temple. Jesus Christ himself, the Son of God, whom as we worship, we not only worship, but we only proceed with the work that we are supposed to carry on. That is why that praise that is found in the responsible psalm, huh? you have held my life, you held back my life, O Lord, from the pit of doom. From this troubled times, once again, as we, as we see, from that doom that is hearing, that we hear in many, many countries. Now some countries have three million people with virus, some have two, some have one. So all these things are happening, but the Lord holds us back he saves us and he wants us to spread the good news. And the good news is all about this. Jesus Christ, the Son of God. A God, the Father who loves us. And a spirit that will act the power that we preach as people of God. This Mass is said for the following faithful departed. Donald Gerard Booth. Michael Fu Tun Hyong, James Ko Chui Lim, Dora Teo Cheng Neo. Special intentions, all affected by COVID-19, God's mercy and blessing on all destitute in the world, God's mercy and compassion on the world, priests of the parish, and thanksgiving for Cornelia Tan Kim Yan.
Let us pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And so, my dear friends, as one family gathered together, we pray to God our Father. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven 
hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit is offer each other the sign of peace peace with you lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world grant us peace Behold the lamb of God behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed Please remember to sanitize your hands Only Catholics may come forward to receive holy communion.
Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us all go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.